Gallagher from LearningHerbs.com and Mountain Rose Herbs and welcome to Herbal Basics. Today we're going to make an herbal salve. Salves are very useful preparations that can be used similar to the way many people use something like Neosporin for example. How a salve is used depends on what herbs are in it and what you're making it for such as wound healing, uh, moisturizing, aches and pains, bruises, and insect repellent and so on. Making a salve is a very convenient way to preserve the medicinal qualities of the plant material in a form that can be easily applied for various conditions. It's easy to use and it's not messy like carrying around an herbal oil in your bag, for example. Today, we're going to make our salve out of comfrey oil. To learn how to make your comfrey oil, you can refer to an earlier Herbal Basics lesson, or you can simply purchase 8 ounces of comfrey infused oil, which is what we need for our lesson today. That's 8 ounces. Why comfrey? Uh, comfrey contains allantoin, which encourages rapid cell regeneration. For this reason, your comfrey salve that we're going to make here is going to help wounds heal quickly. The oil is also very moisturizing and will even help heal bruises. So let's make our salve. As with all herbal remedies, you can make them in a variety of ways with a variety of materials, but most often these days, a salve is made with an herbal infused vegetable based oil, like this comfrey leaf in olive oil, infused in olive oil like we made in a previous lesson, combined with beeswax. Beeswax allows the oils that are liquid at room temperature to harden. I happen to have these neat little one ounce pieces that I have for the herbal medicine making kit on learningherbs.com. But you can simply break off an ounce off a larger brick of wax or if you have wax shavings, it doesn't matter as long as by weight you have an ounce of wax. And that's the magic formula. The magic formula is one ounce of wax by weight to one cup of oil by volume. Okay, that's eight ounces as a cup. Okay, so one to one, easy to remember. So when you make your salve, you know how much you're going to end up with. So in this case, we have a cup of oil along with a bit more liquid when the salve melts, I mean the, when, the, uh, when the wax melts. So we have to prepare our containers and take that into account. So I have some containers here also from the herbal kit. Um, I've got four one ounce tins. I've got a couple of two ounce containers. These might be a little more than two ounces actually. These might be four ounces. But, but in any case, um, whatever it is, I always make sure I have ample containers when I start. Even if I'm not sure, I kind of overdo it just because there's, you know, you don't want to end up with um, hot uh, salve material um, and not enough containers to fill it with. <laughs> so I always have make sure I have enough containers. So I need to prep those before I start. And um, we are also going to use some lavender essential oil, okay? Um, it smells wonderful and it also has wonderful healing properties in itself, so we'll see how that's used. So let's get making our salve. Now first I get out my double boiler and I put a little water in the bottom of the double boiler and get it simmering and then I put the top right on there like that. Now you don't have to use a double boiler, you can also use any old medium sized saucepan. And, um, but if you do use a saucepan, just make sure that your heat's on low because you don't want to risk scorching the wax or the oil. So a saucepan is fine. I just happen to have one of these. I got this at a thrift store locally uh, for like five bucks. So if you find one of these, awesome. But you don't need this piece of equipment. You can use a regular saucepan. So don't let this from stop you from making your salve, okay? All right, so, and then we simply add our ta -da, beeswax to the pot there and it is going to melt. And now uh, this is salve cam, a view from above that you see the wax melting, starting to melt and melting a little more. So my one ounce by weight of wax has melted. Then I take my one cup by volume of herbal infused oil and I pour it on in. Weird. What just happened is that I just poured some room temperature oil in hot wax and the oil solidified a little bit, or the wax solidified rather. <laughs> so what's going to happen now is um, I'm just going to leave it on the stove longer until it once again completely melts. And you can simply stir it a bit as it's going along to help it out. All right, our 
salve mixture has completely liquefied behind this here. See that? And I am just going to pour it back into our Pyrex container, our measuring cup, because it has a nice spout on it. Okay, so now you see our finished salve liquid here. Okay, this is what we're going to pour into our containers right now. And we have to do it quickly because it's going to harden. As you see, it's starting to already on the edge here. And what you want to do for essential oil is put in about two drops per quarter ounce in this case. That comes out to about a teaspoon actually, about 64 drops. So I have that measured in there. And I just want to mix that around. That's my lavender essential oil here. You can also add just a few drops. An alternative is to, as you're pouring these in your containers, I have to start doing that so it doesn't harden on me. An alternative is that you can simply put in a few drops uh, or more, depending on how much scent you like in your um, sap like this as you're doing it, as you're pouring it. You could do like one, two, three, four, but I already put it in, so I'm just gonna keep pouring. So if you noticed, I have my jars open, ready to go. So we have to be quick about it. And if you ever do this and you notice a lot of your salve hardens, I like to pour it out in small batches. If you notice that, then you can um, just slop it back in, the, in the, uh, your pan and remelt it. So you're not, you're not in dire straits if you don't. Okay, and there's a wee bit more in here and um, I could easily pour that in another small tin. I don't wanna get a huge uh, jar full if I'm only gonna have a little bit in it, but I'll um, remelt that in a minute and put it in another little container. But like I said, I always have extra in case because you know, I guess I've done it enough where I'm like, oh no, where's another container? I need another container. <laughs> so what we're going to do now while we watch this, I guess these jars right here, the jars are a little larger than I thought they were. Um, but that's why it's good to know your sizes. <laughs> so anyway, we're going to hang out for a second as our poured salve hardens. And now you see it continuing to harden here, like on the bottom. See the different color, so that's hardening. And there we have it. You see this one uh, in the large jar is still solidifying, but the ones in the tins, because they're smaller, have finished, so I can just put the lids on them. And these containers, by the way, are available in the supply section of Mountain Rose Herbs as well. So, and then you can also then put a pretty label on it, like such as these. This is from our herbal kit on learning herbs. Um, I'm not going to put them on it because it's not the right salve mixture, but just gives you an idea that um, that you uh, what you can do to decorate them. Real easy to make labels. You can get any Avery labels. These are the one I think the 1.67 in diameter labels and uh, you can get a template. They often have templates you can download, let's say in Word, and you can drag and drop artwork and write pretty, you know, put pretty pictures in it and write what the salve is and print them right out and stick them right on your uh, nice tins if you like that sort of thing. Or you can just get a little blank label and write on it handwriting too. Um, and then we'll put the cap on this one and it'll harden up real soon. So there you have it, you're finished herbal salves. Store your finished salve in your herbal cabinet for later use. For longer storage, you can also place it in your refrigerator. Salve making is endless, and there are many reasons to make it and many herbs to try. For oil making, if you want to try making your comfrey oil with fresh comfrey, you can check out our video on HerbMentor.com. Thanks so much and have fun making your salve.